Fire in the hole! How's it going everybody? My name is Al and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Spyro Reignited Trilogy. So in the last episode we saved some cavemen from some fire wizards and some pelicans from some... strange slug creatures. And now we're just going to keep exploring the autumn plains and see if anyone else needs some assistance. Well done, Spyro. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Oh, cool. Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. Thank you. Oh. All right. The Metro Speedway. Okay. I guess we're going to a modern city? All right. Let's find out. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. It's a flying level. Got it. All right. So I'm trying to... Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Frick, ah, gee. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> okay. My goodness. <laughs> Jeez, that, uh, that caught me off guard there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so I need to attack pigeons, fly through archways. Uh, oh boy, stop jumpers apparently. Okay. <laughs> and I guess destroy slow signs. All right, well, here we go. Okay, there we go. Start with the... Yep. Start with the pigeons. Oh, I see what happened there. Okay, the pigeons are standing on levers, and when I, uh, when I blasted them, it activated levers. Also, I'm glad to see that the jumpers are not referring to, you know, suicide jumpers, but bungee jumpers. That's a little more, uh... <laughs> That's a little bit more, uh, shall we say, wholesome. Although that being said, I am kind of cutting their lines. <laughs> All right, now where are these? Oh, oh, super, dang it. Okay, those are supercharge arrows. I can probably use those. Okay, so after I, so after I cook the pigeons and, uh, oh boy, snap the jumper's lines. I mean, I'm sure they'll be fine. It wasn't that big of a fall into water, right? Uh, but yeah, after I cook the pigeons and uh, cut the jumper's lines, I believe if I go through that tunnel there, it'll probably lead me along the path to the archways and possibly the slow sign. So here we go. Whoa, oh, oh geez. I hit the charge button there and almost fell into the water. Oh, there we go. Yeah, dang it. What's the blah? Ah, no. Okay. Jeez. Okay, so triangle just cuts flight. Good to know. Oh, I don't even... Oh! Oh, I don't even need to hit the jumpers themselves. I just need to hit the mechanism that the rope is attached to. Okay, that might be a little easier to actually reach after the... After getting the pigeons. Now, let's see. This should be... Yup. These are... These are supercharged ways. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Fly again. Up, 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 ow. Oh dear, I'm not gonna make it. Mm. Oh, that was close. Go! No! <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, let's go! Whoa. Ow, my face. Okay. Okay, apparently I can't get through that archway without at least bashing my nose a little bit. Alright. Ow! All right, now, what was next? Okay, I need to find the slow signs, but where'd those go? Or wait, where are the, hold on. Ah, okay, these guys, bam. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Didn't notice them before, but okay, now, I, now that I do know about them, I think I can incorporate that into the run easily enough. So here we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Got all the pigeons and the uh, bungee jumpers. And with, uh, oh boy. Okay, and with uh, a decent amount of time to spare as well. Gonna have to loop back and get that first slow sign guy, but that shouldn't affect the time too much. All right, uh, there we go. Okay. All right, now just fly through these archways, and I think I should have plenty of time to do just that. Hopefully, anyway. Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. All right. Wah! Bam! Nailed it. 
Okay. There we go. Oh dear. Uh, I see money bags again. Okay. Well, I probably need his help to keep exploring this place, so what do you want, you greedy old bear? Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for a... a small fee? Yeah, I figured as much money bags. <sighs> yeah, well. I guess the pelicans in the uh, in the last uh, part mentioned something about Zever, so let's see what this thing's all about. Okay, four hundred. Have some decent fun. So here you go. Gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skelos Badlands. Lizard burger. Lovely. All right. Well, let's go see what uh, let's go see what Zever's all about, shall we? I'm guessing this is just going to be uh, a big boss fight. Oh my. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. Jeez Louise. Wait, are we at, hold on. We're helping the slugs now? Jeez Louise, we changed sides like we changed socks. Also, might I just add that a lot of these intros and even a lot of the outros, honestly, are... <laughs> they are... They can be surprisingly dark. <laughs> like, I know they showed it like all cartoony, like it was like a Looney Tune short when he put like the, uh... The, uh, um the bomb under his helmet, but, like, <laughs> like, I think they made it worse by cutting away rather than showing, like, the explosion and, like, him being, like, all dazed with, like, char all over him and whatnot. Okay, Spyro, looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Okay, so it's not even a different... It's not even a different uh, set of birds. It is literally the breeze builders. All right, well, don't worry, Colonel Blub. I'll try and put a stop to this... Uh, to all this warfare. All right, get out of here. Oh, boy, my head. Okay. Arrgh, what the frick? Jeez, ah, frick! Jeez Louise! Oh! Oh, dear! How am I supposed to avoid those things? Can I blast them out of the air? Okay, good. Jeez Louise! Oh, frick! Ow! Get out of here! You wanna go? Bring it! Oh, okay, he brought it! He brought it! Ow! I thought I shot that out of the air for a second. No, it, it nailed me, like, right between the eyes. Oh, for frick's sakes, these birds. There we go. Avoided that one. Oh, hello. Cannon just ain't working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. All right, then. Oh, boy. You, you mind if I sanitize it first? Okay, so just aim and fire. I missed. Fire. There we go. Headshot. <laughs> and I saw a big bird in here. Oh, yep. Big bird chucking tea and oh. A big bird that is chucking barrels of TNT that is apparently storing in its stomach. You wouldn't happen to be related to a penguin by the name of Rico, would you? Whoa! Jeez, okay. That was a little startling. Thought that was gonna thought that was gonna blow up when it hit the ground. Ow! Ah frick! Alright, come on, give me a second here. What the frick are you? Jeez Louise. I I think they were going for cute here, but my goodness, they made a nightmare creature. Oh, looks like a mix between like a a slug, a fly, and an elephant. Jeez Louise, okay, well, 
it's not attacking me, so I'm just gonna, oh boy, there's more of them. I'm just gonna try and, I'm just gonna try and keep my distance from them. Oh dear, they're everywhere. Okay, I bet this guy knows something about it. Hello, sir. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I've lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all of the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? Cowlicks. Okay, so that's what they're called. Get five cowlicks into the pen. Where's the pen? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Okay, apparently I moved just in time there. Oh, boy, that was close. Jeez. Okay. Okay, I need to clear those guys out. Oh, okay, there's another one of the slug guys here. Hello, sir. What light from yonder window breaks? Oh. That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Find the professor. Okay. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, so they incorporated, a, they did incorporate a Romeo, an actual Romeo Juliet story. I was expecting to see another slug up there, but yeah, that makes a bit more sense given the context of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> to be blunt, I'm not even going to ask how, you know, that would work, but if you guys are in love, then more power to you, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like the uh, whole thing where uh, where in Pokemon, when you breed them, uh, you know how you can only uh, you can only breed Pokemon that are in the same uh, in the same egg group. And uh, I believe it's Muck and Gardevoir share an egg group. So yeah, <laughs> same kind of deal there. <laughs> Oh, okay, I was wondering, okay, for a sec, that's the professor. I just saw him from a distance. I thought the eyebrows were his eyes. I was thinking, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> Sorry, professor, didn't recognize you before. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic beam, I mean, seed for you in here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Press X, or not X, jeez, press triangle button to aim the seed. Aim the seed. Plant seed to climb to Juliet. Okay, yeah, I was figuring as much. Okay, well, it's good to know that I can actually aim the things that I that I carry in my mouth like that. A pui. Did that work? No, that didn't do anything. Okay, so I need to find a... So there is probably a specific place I need to bring the seed. Maybe Romeo knows something. Nope, he's saying the same thing. Okay. Hmm. So I need to get Romeo up there somehow. Uh, where do I plant this? Oh, there. Oh, wait. There's multiple seeds. Okay. So there's got to be something here that uh, that'll let me know where to plant them. Wait. Is this it? Pui. Yep. There we go. Got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, for a, <laughs> for a second there I thought I ruined it, like, uh-oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Pui. There we go. Exit look, not fire breath. Alright, so I'm guessing this is going to be bouncy. Or not. Okay. Never mind. I thought it'd be a trampoline or something, but it's literally just a platform. Is this one... Oh, oh, okay. No, I see what I need to do now. There we Ow, ow, okay. All right, doing it too close hurts, apparently. But yeah, I plant that. Get the platform and I can jump up here and grab this. Or wait, would this work? Oh yeah, that works too. Oh boy. Dang. Let's see, where's the top of that one? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, first I need to use it to uh, go over there and reach that other seed there. Uh, let's see, do they... Does the plant change based on where... On where you plant which seed, or is it going to be the same every time? Nope, it changes based on where you plant it. Okay. Oh, and I need the second one. Be right back. 
There we go. I'll just hop up here and ow and bash my face off of the wall. Then you hop up here again and fly over here and grab the seed. The, the bash your face off the wall step is very important. Do not forget that step. Oh, there we go. Another patch of dirt right here. Ah, oh, frick. Jeez Louise, why is, I didn't remember gardening being this dangerous. Okay, well now I got this one. So, oh, meant to aim that. And I should have, because I completely missed. Pooey. There we go. There we go. All right. Got one more seed. So where do I plant this one now? The Pui. Ah, nailed it. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I should have hovered. All right. And a whoop. There we go. Much better. And oh, and there's two more seeds right there. Hello, Professor. Well done, my boy. Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Oh, uh, the orb, I'm guessing? Wait, you had this the whole time and you didn't think to tell me about it. Right, this is the thing, this is the thing that's going to help me get home, man. All right. Hello, Juliet. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. Okay. Thank you, Juliet. So I guess you're gonna... What the frick? You didn't even... <laughs> Why didn't you just fly down there before? Okay, there we go. We've reunited the two uh, star-crossed lovers. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they will be the bridge that finally uh, unites their species in a more peaceful way, rather than through this... Uh, through this constant warfare. All right, well, I think I got all the, uh, I think I got all the puzzles in this section of the map, as far as I can tell anyway. So yeah, let's head back through that cave. And I still don't know where the dang pen is to bring the, uh, I forgot what they were called, cow, cowlix, I think it was. I still don't know where the pen is to bring the cowlicks to. Hey, uh, Bo Peep, you got any more information on that? Cairo, could you help me get the cowlicks back into their pen? Uh, yeah, I'd love to help there, Bo Peep, but I don't know where your pen is. Is this the pen? Oh yeah, this is probably the pen, because it looks like it's actually fenced off. Alright. I, I found it. I guess I should have... I guess it does make sense that the pen would be near Bo Peep, huh? All right, now how do I get these things to move in the, oh dear, in the direction I want them to? <laughs> Am I able to just herd them? Yep, they just run away from me, so I just have to make sure they're going in the right direction. All right, ah, frickin' A. All right, hold on, I'll be right back. Oh dear, oh dear, I didn't notice that before. My goodness, okay, well. <laughs> something tells me I'm gonna do something about that soon. <laughs> right, come at me, bird. Bring it. No, fly a little closer so I can blast you with my fire. Now, oh, come on. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, I guess I can't fire breath those things out of the air. At least when they're fired by, like, the uh, big flying falcons. Oh, I can go this way. Okay, that might help me get the other bird that's flying around. Oh. This might also help. All right. Uh-oh. Please block it. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Fire in the hole. Oh, I think I almost got him there. Come on. All right, let's try again. Fire in the hole. Missed it completely. Okay. Fire in the hole. That's going to miss too. Dang damn it. Come on. Hit the target. No. All right, come on. Hit him with everything you got. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, when in doubt, use the American tactic and just bomb everything else around your target. You'll hit him eventually. <laughs> All right. 
Well, now that I don't have to worry about freaking missiles just coming in from out of nowhere while I'm trying to herd these dang cowlicks, let's go ahead and herd some cowlicks. Get in there. Get get in the pen. Get in the pen. Get in the pen. Go up the ramp. There we go. Okay, I have to... If I headbutt them, I make them jump. Good to know. Get up there. Come out. Okay, I need to... Need to bring him to a lower part first. Like, thank you for retrieving my cowlick, Spyro, but what is with all- but what is with the 500 bruises on its butt? Uh, no reason. Hit in there, there we go. Alright, and the other two are back in the same section where Romeo and Juliet were hanging out, so... Let's get them. What the- oh, there we go, oh, there we go. Sent that guy a little higher than I thought I would. Jeez! Dang, this cowlick's got some hops. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sending them soaring. All right, you two, watch out. Incoming cowlick. Oh, dear, I landed right. No. <laughs> I landed right on Juliet's head. Oh, there we go. I can just send him up like that. <laughs> there we go. Got him in. Okay. Where's the last one? It was over here somewhere, yeah? Yep, there he is. All right. Get up there. Bam! Yep, I can send him just as far. Perfect. <laughs> Line him up. And try not to have him land on Juliet this time. Bam! Okay, landed on Juliet a little bit, but it wasn't, like, directly on her head like the last one. Bam! There we go. Hey, Spyro, here's a little something for, you know the effort. All right, thank you, Bo Peep. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. Get two more cowlicks into the pen. Okay. Where are they at? Probably find them after I get the ability to climb ladders, right? Because they're probably up there. Because I don't think I've seen any more cowlicks anywhere else. And no, I think, I think when I blow up that tower with all the TNT in it. I think that's going to be the end of the level. And yeah, I don't see the other Cowlex anywhere, and I only saw those two near the area with Romeo and Juliet. So yeah, I probably have to come back later to find them. Uh, for now, uh, let's light this candle, shall we? Fire in the hole! Okay. Well, that was disappointing. Okay, maybe I need to actually aim it a little better. Maybe if I send it at the door. <laughs> Fire in the hole! I... <laughs> come on! Fire! There we go, got it! Alright. Oh, there we go. <laughs> alright, you alright, buddy? <laughs> wow, what an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. <laughs> oh yeah, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one heck of a helmet. All right, well, I think I've done all I can in this world. So uh, yeah, let's head back. And hopefully, with a little help from Romeo and Juliet down there, maybe these two, uh, maybe these two warring factions can finally get around a table and work out their differences. Good luck, everyone. Oh dear. Oh dear, okay. Oh. You see, you see, that's how you do, that's how you do a cartoony explosion. You don't cut away, because that just makes our imaginations run wild and make things even worse. <laughs> you show the funny aftermath. See, that's how you should have done the first explosion. <laughs> All right, well, uh, regardless, we helped, uh, we helped out the slug half of this slug bird warfare, and uh, even united two star-crossed lovers from both sides of the conflict. 
And like I said, hopefully, at least aside from the whole, uh, you know, firing cannons at them and firing them out of cannons thing, maybe they can actually work it out. Although, you know, that being said, a lot of them seem to be practically invincible because they can sur they can apparently survive some shit. Like that one slug survived in that tower with all the TNT just because he was wearing a helmet. And that one bird we just saw took a cannon to the face and basically just lost his feathers, so who knows? Maybe these two races are immortal. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe I've misinterpreted this whole situation. Maybe this isn't so much actual, like, warfare, like they hate each other. Maybe this is just their equivalent of, like, going out for paintball or something. <laughs> but, you know, instead of, you know, paintballs, they use actual bombs because they can't die. <laughs> so, yeah, they're either at war, and I, hopefully with the help of Romeo and Juliet, got the ball rolling on a peace treaty. Or they're just having a, a harmless game of, uh paintball or their equivalent of such and I just, you know, help them have a little more fun. Either way, I think we will cut the episode here and in the next part we shall continue exploring the Autumn Plains. So until then, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. My name is Al and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!